Hey out there everybody, my name is Jesse Rhodes and I just want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the next video on Mandela Effects and I've actually uh, went out on my own here over the last couple of days and sort of did some of my own uh, physical research and some actual filming. So I'm going to get right into that right now and talk to you a little bit more about some of the things I've seen and some of the things I, I noticed. So, for a while, um, I had noticed that there was something different about staples on the L. Now, the L now apparently looks like a paper clip. Now, I used to have a staples here in my hometown. Uh, it closed down due to the fact that they could no longer afford to keep it here in the town I live in, because I live in a very small uh, rural community. So, I never noticed the paper clip L until just recently when somebody else brought it up here on YouTube in one of their videos about Mandela effects. And when I saw that, I was like, a paperclip L. I was like, that is very strange because I do not remember it being that way. I remember the L just being completely straight. And according to um, Reddit.com, which is a lot of places where there is a forum for the Mandela effect where people get together to discuss it, there is actually... Uh, a summarization from different people that remember staples being the L being normal. And I know there was also something new going on with the L completely being taken out. But that's really not so much my concern because that's actually just a change being made to the logo now. That That's different. But this L change is very strange indeed. Uh, the next one is definitely Depend. As we call it, Depend now. Uh, I remember being called Depend. Now, I've been in the store quite a while in my life. I've been shopping in that specific area of the store. And the adult diapers, I remember, were always called Depends. Um, just, that one is the one that threw me for a loop. When a couple of people that I found on YouTube talking about the Mandela effect basically stated that they don't remember, um, you know, it just being called Depends. It has always been called Depends. You know, it depends. The next one that I found was the cereal brands. Now, I've spoken about Fruit Loops before, and Fruit Loops, I just remember being F R U I T. I do not remember being F R O O T. And I've talked to a couple of people, friends including, and even my girlfriend, who remember being F R U I T, and now they're just so weirded out that it's F R O O T. So it's, it's a very big change indeed, as well as the Cocoa Puffs, which my girlfriend remembered as we were at the store and I was filming these. And I told, pointed at her, I said, look, and she's like, why does it have C-O-C-O-A? And I said, exactly. I said it was always, from what I remember, it was always Cocoa Puffs. So it was very strange for, for even that one to change as well. The next and last one that I wanted to speak about was the Volkswagen one. About four years ago, I used to work at Walmart, and a friend of mine had a Volkswagen. And I remember looking at his car, and I don't remember the BMW being split apart. I remember it being, it was all together. And now all of a sudden, the two are completely separate from each other. This is very strange to me, because it feels like a whole other dimension just because of that logo change. Now, I want to end this Mandela Effect video kind of something interesting about a friend of mine who, it just completely blows me away because I feel like that this person, okay, it, it's just, I don't know if this is any proof or not, but he definitely would be from this reality if we, we were talking about the Mandela Effect being, we're in a different reality now with all these brand name changes, product changes. I just talked to him about a month ago, and we were discussing Star Wars. He's a very big Star Wars fan, and I said, you know, hey, when Darth Vader said to Luke, I am your father, I said, isn't that what Darth Vader said? Because from Star Wars, that's what I remember. And he said, no. He said, that's not what he said. He said, no, I am your father. He said, that's how I remember it. And then we went to the park. We sat down to talk for a little while because we were getting caught up, and I was asking him questions about serial names, brand name changes, and things like that. I said, do you remember Fruit Loops? Don't you remember being F 
R U I T? He said, No. He said, It's always been F R O O T. He said, I remember it being F R U I T. And then I talked to him about Cocoa Puffs, and I said, You remember Cocoa Puffs being C O C O A? And he said, Yeah, it's always been that way. And I said, No, it was always C O C O. I said, has the Statue of Liberty moved? I showed him pictures. No, the Statue of Liberty has always been there. Just examples of of other things like talking to him about the, the pens, being the pen now. Um, for a scump, life is. Like he remembered it being life was like a box of chocolates. He remembers Nelson Mandela um, becoming the president of South Africa and not dying like way back in the 80s. Thumbs up this video if you remember things being a different way. If you remember staples with no um, paper clip on the L, just a regular standard L. If you remember Cocoa Puffs having COCO -C -O instead of COCOA. If you remember Fruit Loops being spelled F R U I T and not F R O O T. And if you remember Depends being simply Depends and not just Depend. And if you remember the Volkswagen symbol not being disconnected. Please like this video and share some stories in the comments below if you feel like anything in your life has changed, anything different, strange, people around you not quite the same, because I find this stuff to be very intriguing.